All right, we're back for Dun to Dawn Chapter 159, chapter title Escape from the Cursed Trunk. Also, I'm having trouble with my audio, so it might be a little quiet today. I'm not entirely sure how to fix it because it sounds loud in my ears, but like for some reason when I listen to the playback, it's like super quiet, but I turned it all the way up, so it's I'm I'm hopefully it's uh good enough. But yeah, let's get into the chapter. So, like I was saying, chapter title 159, chapter title escape from the cursed trunk. Let's open the chapter. Um, all right, so we got Rin, um, who's uh over the chest singing and whatnot, and all the uh, uh, figurines of the people are floating out. All right, um, May says this is amazing. The figurines are all floating up. Uh, and then her friend, um, yeah, May is saying, uh, your singing is controlling gravity, Rin. All right, um, now we got Rin saying, or no, I think it's still May speaking. Now then, let's really get things pumping, and then Rin responds with, right? She does a little pose. All right. Um, we got some guy with, like, some weird shades, okay? And he says, hey, we're gonna make some noise. Uh, and then Young Miss says somebody else, or is that the same guy? Uh, okay, so they got, like, uh, they got, like, speakers in the back of a vehicle and, like, a, a DJ table thing. All right. Um... All right, the guy at the DJ table says, let's do this, yo. All right, um, they're, they're doing the DJ stuff with the, with the thing. <laughs> All right, looks like the one guy's got a microphone too. All right, I've got the, the people gathered around uh, uh, cheering, and Rin looks determined. All right, and then uh, Rin's doing a pose while singing. All right, fantastic. Uh... Okay, we got back in the chest. Okarun is saying it's the class rep uh, through the power of the ombudsman. Uh, Turbo Granny says it feels like a cowabanga stealing my thunder and it makes me sick. Um, Okarun responds, but if that's the case, then how come dot 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 Miss uh, I Agnes? Is the one person not floating? Uh, Momo, it can't be you didn't eat it. Or, no, no, it, just eat. Uh, dot, 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 the food of this world, did you? Uh, Okarun, go, says Momo. Um, and then, uh, Okarun responds with, I won't. And then Momo responds with, if you if you don't, you'll wind up stuck here too. And then, um, Miss Anya, he, he's holding the golden ball, handing it to her. He says, uh, take the gold ball. Uh, I was able to change form with it, uh, which means it's possible the trunk, trunk's curse won't affect you. All right. And then, um, we got Momos with the ball. Uh, and she says, it's no use. I'm not floating. Uh, Turbo Granny says, this curse is the work of the fairy tale card. We need to defeat him before the world falls apart completely. Turbo Granny is now on Momo's shoulder. All right. Uh, I think Turbo Granny speaking. And she says, I'll stick with Momo. Uh, I've got luck on my side. Um, you get out and beat him. Uh, and then Turbo Grain goes on to say, but remember the, t but remember time flows differently inside the cursed trunk. Uh, cursed trunk. A mere hour on the outside equals days in here. All right. And so Turbo Grain goes on to say, so the instant you get out is when, uh, when the contest begins, 
the more time you take, the closer to bye bye we go we get. And Momo says, Okarin, you can do this. Uh, blow that creepy bastard away. Right, says Okarun. Uh, Okarun looks determined. Uh, Momo, uh... I don't know what you'd call it. I just, let's say determined as well. Alright, uh, we got a shot of, uh, Okarun still holding Momo's arm. Um, and, uh, Momo says, Okarun, hurry. It was only for a little while, but... While we were apart, Miss Onyas, it was really hard for me, dot dot dot. The thing is, well, uh, Miss Onyas, or Ayas, I'll, I'll probably never pronounce this name right until I see the anime and I figure out how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, which, by the way, I'm looking for dead anime. It's gonna be so good. Alright, so yeah, we've got, um, yeah, a shot of, like, Ogren holding her arm still, missing Miss Anyas. Uh He says, I love you. And uh, she's blessing, blushing. And then he's got his eyes closed. Uh, I don't want to let go of you. Uh, Turbo Guardian says, you bird, uh, bird brain. This is no time for confessing your feelings. Hurry up and go beat that son of a bitch. All right. Uh, and we got um, Serpro is saying... Oh my, he confessed his love for her. How does that make you feel? Uh, and the, uh, I forgot the police officer guy's name already. But he says, what kind of nonsense is going on down there? Do you find it thrilling? Asks Serpo. Um, and then the police officer responds, if we fly into the sky, will we die? Uh, what do we do? Asks the police officer. Turbo Grind responds with, hurry up and let go, you bonehead. Um, it looks like a gosh shot of Ogren still holding her arm. Uh, I'm trying to, like, figure out what's going on in this panel. So there's three arms, right? There's Ogren's that's up and above. I guess these two down here are Momo's. But it looks like the one that was being held on to by Okarun is letting go. And then Momo puts her other hand on his hand. I don't it, it's a, It's complicated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. All right. So now they're floating up. Um, Okarun says, Miss Anya. Uh, Momo says, Okarun, you can do it. Uh, blow him away. All right, and then uh, as they're floating up, Okarin says, I will, I swear. I swear I will. Mo says, uh, once we get out of here, you can confess your feelings for me again, but properly. Uh, understood, I'll do that, says Okarin. Uh, swear it, says Momo. I do. Uh, say you swear it, says Momo. I swear it, says Okarin. Again, says Momo. I swear it, says Okarin. All right. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're back with the uh, fairy tale card who is possessing um, Zuma. It looks like they're drank the atmosphere. All right, they're, they're just high up in the air. Uh, Gak says, uh, Zuma, um, come now, says fairy tale card. Only a little farther. Stick with it, stick with it. At long last, how long have I? Eagerly awaited this moment, says Fairy Tale Card. Uh, all right. Who is this? Okay, so there's a guy in the air. He says, "Hey, you." Um, and there's a. Oh, are they still in the trunk? They might still be in the trunk. That's what I think it is. Yeah. So they're they're flying to escape the trunk. All right. All right. I see. Uh, triple exclamation point from fairy tale card. Um, and this guy in the air is saying, "Don't go thinking you're getting away. Once we're out of here, I'm gonna pound the living shit out of you." Um, fairy tale card responds with, "What's the meaning of this? How is it you're able to fly in the sky?" Uh, we says someone else. Triple exclamation point from fairy tale card, and um. We've reached him, says someone else, and then our woo from someone else. 
Uh, how can this be? Says fairy tale card. Uh, your ass is dead meat. Says someone. Uh, another person says. Now we go head to head. And another person says, come back to us. And someone says, Zuma. Uh, somebody else says, hold up you. Uh, somebody is saying, yikes. And another person is saying, woohoo. All right. We got uh, Rin's singing. And everyone's floating and falling out of the chest now. And back into the real world. All right. And then Rin says, uwa, they're out. All right, and people are landing on the ground now. Um, looks like Zuma has hit the ground. Uh, and Rin notices and responds with a uh, triple exclamation point. Rin says, is he okay? She's looking down at him. He's looking like he's unconscious. Um, I think we got fairy tale card on this panel. Okay, and the next panel is this fairy tale card. And he's saying, I did it. I'm out. All right, how marvelous this air out here. Now I am free. Uh, Rin says, may something scary came out with them and interpretation to our performance. Um, says may. Okay. Uh, people are over at Zuma and one of them says, Zuma, yo, he's not breathing. Uh, someone else says, uh, careful how you move him. Call an ambulance, an ambulance. Fairy tale card says, you did a fine job. Thanks to you, I was able to get out. You put up a heroic fight. I will now let your death be in vain. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, I will not let your death be in vain. Um, and now I can hear the song of... One who fights the singing voices of those who feel anger. I have found the possessor of a wondrous power. It's this fairy tale card. All right. I think he notices Rin. Um, and Rin's uh, looking concerned about fairy tale card. Um, he, fairy tale card card goes on to say, "You have the potential to destroy this world. Uh, you have the capacity within you." This fairy fairy tale card to Rin, and uh, uh, Rin looks very concerned about this. As is to be continued. All right, so that's the that's the chapter. All right, fantastic, and hopefully the audio audio wasn't too quiet. I don't I don't know what's going on with the audio. I'm not entirely sure how to fix it, but I think it sounds. Last time I checked, after I turned up the volume all the way, it sounded loud enough, so it should be fine. But yeah. Anyways, that's the recording.